We're going to be talking about the Netifem NLC two-wire decoder controller today. Right now I'm going to show you how to program the field decoder at the controller and you don't need any tools except for this marking pen. So what you're going to do first is you're going to turn the controller all the way to programming a decoder. The controller is going to say connect decoder to be programmed and this is the hardest thing to do is because you have to make sure these wires are in the right positions. You have white on the left and you have blue on the right. So what happens now is this is going to take after I have these connected approximately 15-20 seconds and this decoder will all be programmed. So you can see here is the Netafim decoder and what I'm going to do I'm in the programming mode now so now I'm going to hit enter and it's going to say verifying the controller or the decoder to be programmed. So I have three options. I have option one is to change the decoder Option two would be to test the decoder after I do it, and option three is to do another one. So now I'm going to change the decoder, so I'm going to hit enter once, and it says choose the decoder ID, and in this case here we're going to choose number one, so I'm going to hit enter. When I hit enter, it's going to say, are you sure you want to do it? And I'm going to say, yes, I want to program it. What we do that's unique with Netafim uh, decoders are we program in on the blue wires and we verify the communication to the solenoid on the white wires. It's unique in the industry that no one else does that. So here it says, it reminds me to program, the decoder is programmed, but remember to label it. This is the only tool you're going to use, and I'm actually going to label it here. I'm going to put number one here on the face, but I recommend putting on the bottom also, because when you take it out of the box, the valve box, after it's installed, you have a tendency to lift it and that is going to identify which decoder you're talking with. So I'm going to push enter. It says I'm all done. So now I can scroll down and now I can do test. So I'm going to verify again. We program in and we program out. So output for decoder number one is OK. So I'm going to hit enter. It's all done. I will now scroll down to number three, hit enter, and I will do another one.